Yeah. Oh, what's good, everybody? Top of back with another video. How y'all doing today, man? Uh, first off, yeah. How's your day? How's your day? I hope it's going good. And real quick, question of the day: What's y'all favorite drink? I I I tried this uptime blueberry pomegranate. It's man. It's man. My favorite drink is the Bang Energy. Um, what's it called? Key lime pie, and it tastes just like Sprite, bro. It's good. But anyway, anyway. So today we are going over the run and gun offense, man. Um, the offense I personally been using is not a bunch out of it. It's a bunch of different formations. See what I did there? See what I did there? Yeah. But anyway, so uh, right, right, quick, we're gonna start with the personnel we're gonna need to run this to run this offense. Um, this could there's I'll give you other options. This is for mutt, but even if you're running it as like the expedition season games or whatever against online um no just know how to choose your team so first off one of the most important things is the qb so right now i've used multiple qbs in the scheme um the best one is probably daniel jones you want a guy who can move or you guys the best qb fit for this offense is a guy who can move with so like daniel jones and vince young are probably the two best options right now for this and then after that it depends because you kind of want a you got tr you got uh justin fields who's really good who is i used him actually to get to help with the rushing yards and stuff because in this play in this uh formation in this playbook we got a lot of read options we got a lot of everything it's super dope it's super fun to use so i use jo i have josh allen now i use justin herbert trevor lawrence is about the same they work okay. They're pretty good because they get set fee lead, but their speed is nothing crazy, so it don't help them. I would say I sold uh, Justin Fields because his power up was going for 40k, and I'm not holding on to that. And then I definitely recommend two running backs because there is a couple different running back. I sold my running back because I'm kind of I believe there's gonna be with the ultimate kickoff or whatever coming up soon so i would definitely recommend two running backs like reggie bush is a great one because he could catch even like the 81 free right at reggie bush you get or you know just some guy who could catch out of the backfield it got decent speed and then like raheem Mostert works really well um david johnson's pretty good saquon's good ladania thompson i wouldn't really recommend a power back because some of the times you guys are going to be catching the ball so it depends because so, unless they could catch a good re so two decent a good receiving back like reggie is really great and then a guy like or as your star is your reggie bush will be your second running back the guy that comes in for those running formations that require two running backs um and then the other guy who will probably be uh will be a guy like your your main running back the guy you run the ball with who could basically do it all so chris mccaffrey is great for that so yeah then for tight ends, um, I'm kind of mad because I chose Jamar Chase, who, who's really good, but I'm going to be trying to get that uh, 89 overall MCS Tyreek Hill who's going to replace him. It, it just, maybe though, because he's six foot, Tyreek Hill's a little shorter, smaller, so it's up to, I'm debating on if I want to do it or not. He might be a backup because Jamar Chase just mosses people randomly. It's weird, but I would recommend two tight ends because George Kittle is... George Kittle's cool, but I would have rather got the other Kyle Pitts. I want to pick up a different tight end like David Njoku or OJ Howard because they're pretty fast. But I want to pick up them because there is a couple formations sometimes that require two tight ends. And there is a couple where he's like, or he's going to be one of them going to be in the backfield like George Kittle. Uh, and a couple formations comes in the backfield and the Kyle Pitts is out there. So I'd rather have a different tight end that can help me out there who is versatile. So yeah. Um, but offensive line wise, uh, I know these guys have bil abilities. It's not really required. I just post up this double team thing with these three really helps. Edge protector don't work in this game. I'm serious. It don't work. I don't ever see these guys light up. They're just there. Take up space. They're just there till I get a free right tackle or left tackle. Same with the right guard. Basically, I'll power him down as soon as I get a free one. But and then receiver wise. Uh, fullback really don't matter if you have two tight ends, I guess, but he's just here because he's not. Uh, but receiver wise, you want a guy who could run block because there is a couple formations where he does require. So Warrior Williams is great for this. He's six foot three, ninety speed, and could run block pretty decent. I think it's low si high sixties or low seventies. Devin Hester kind of don't fit here, but he is really good because he has route tech because he don't have he can't block as well. 
but he's good. And then you just want speed on your, yeah, kind of you just want speed on your other two positions. If they could block, it's a little bit better than you don't have to do so many subs. Um, you could even do three tight ends. I recommend like, even if you have like Kyle Pitts or somebody is your backup tight end to George Kittle, get somebody or you want some, you want to like two really good ones. And then one guy who is good at blocking or something, versatile weapon or something, you know, um, that's really it for offense. I think that's it. And then we're getting to the play into this stuff. Uh, specialist, there's that if you need that. But the running gun formation is what I have. Uh, you buy it. It's kind of expensive in this. But, yeah, anyway, let's get into the plays. See you there. So, and we're back. So, here, here's the formations we're kind of going to – Here, I got this. I got to remember. So here's the formations we're really gonna cover is single back. Strong's pretty decent. If there's strong close in there, so if you still have you know what to do with strong close, go ahead and run it. I kind I don't run it as much with this playbook, but it is still a good formation to run if you know it. Um weak and full house, I don't use too much. Weak actually has a couple good plays like this PA boot slide's pretty decent. Uh PA slot corner is pretty decent, and, and the run plays are okay. Uh pistol, I want to say almost every pistol formation is pretty good gun there's a couple you got wildcat in here if you need it um yeah it's it's got a pretty decent amount of plays so let's start out with single back we might run a couple we might not so ace is a pretty good one you got stretch you could flip it to either side so and it don't change you got hot back dive uh you got counter you got a couple play action rollouts there's not really too much i want to show in this spot because like the inside crosses are pretty decent quick snap play if you want to just get there and your opponent you know your opponent's making adjustments just hurry and snap it and it's pretty decent off the rip um but yeah a lot of these are good a slot is pretty decent this is why you need two tight ends though because there is a couple you see these formations where you they require two tight ends you got the single back smash is a good is a good play here we'll call this play uh keep using our flip did not mean to go. we'll go random nickel we should so this is the setup I like to use. I usually block my running back unless he's not bringing significant pressure, but you know how these guys are. And then put Devontae Smith on the slant. It's going to switch. Then you just snap the ball. You read it. You read it. You read it. B was open. I just didn't throw it. Uh, the Eagles are obviously not the best guys for this. So like Rager would probably, that'd be where Devin Hester is on my team. So he would get open on that. He's also messed up against Jalen Ramsey. So um but yeah, and then you just snap it, you look, you look, you read, you read, boom, the two spies, that's pretty, you know, it's just, and then the slant is basically a safety valve, uh, choose new play, there's not too much out of this, like the PA boot is pretty good in this, if you take away the play action, because you got the post going across the middle attacking, the slot under is pretty decent, but you want a good, uh, and then the, the waggle, what is this called, waggle, that, that's just a weird that's weird, but it's a pretty decent play. You just there's a lot of these where you could come out here and you just do this. You put your tight end on a delay fade and you probably slant right and then you just roll out. You roll out right, right, and then you press A, release, or you could throw B. He was open. Just we got sacked by Aaron Donald. So and then it's just basically you guys. Oh my God, my bro, I'm talking all funny. But you guys know how this works. It's the it's basic. Everybody know everybody runs this formation, the boot slides, and everybody knows this from last year. So they work around the same. Like you'll get you'll beat guys with them, um, and then the delay fade, delay fade. What the hell am I saying? Delay fade is really pretty good. And smash is a good play. I showed you that guys that um, PA FL stretch is pretty decent off rip. You could just hurt. It's a good quick hype play. Remove the play action. It's pretty decent. Some of these, I don't run this formation as much. The doubles, it's okay though. But wide trips is pretty good. You got flood. You got the wide receiver uh, wheel routes. You got some good. You got halfback sweep if you run that. Smash, good concept. Um, then you got bunch in here if you need bunch, which is okay. It's nothing crazy. It's just simple bunch. But and they got a couple different plays. Like I've never seen these in the other format in another playbook with the bunch is the goal line weird stuff it's kind of cool looking i've never really tried it so i had to experiment more i forms are pretty basic pro slot flex and tight around the same close for strong it's pretty decent full health pistol is where it gets interesting you got strong which this is where it works to have a mobile qb because look how many 
there's halfback off tackle. Does Zach Ertz get the ball there? Oh, okay. So this is where it pays to have a good tight end because the, look how many read you got so many read options, but your second tight end will play fullback for you. So if you get there's like in, in this game, there's, there's full, tight ends are better than fullbacks. There's not too many good fullbacks in the game. So this one, you basically hand it right off to him. So it's a good goal line play because he's a big body like George Kittle would be in that spot for me and he would just he would just dive forward and get yards and you know you just truck a couple times you know just get get your yards so that's a good like play you need a first down and then there's so many read options and stuff out of it which works super well I, I like to call read options this is why I recommend a QB so and then you got like the smash right corner which is a good route that a lot of these formations are a good place so let's set up an audible real quick because i'm gonna call that i just want to put a different play in there that i want to show you this post will so we're gonna call where to where'd go where to go where did the heck did that play go I, I was just looking at it oh smash right corner keep, bro i keep messing up i keep like just thinking it's gonna like allow me to do this so i'd block miles sanders and you can block earth if you need time but like see right here earth is i think a higher overall than uh goddard so kittle would be in that spot and then like kyle pitts would be in that spot for me regger is on a decent route so you snap it you look boom he that's first down that's first down right there that's a good quick play if they don't play it. and if they bring their user uh so you block him you got goddard could get open he's not and then you got a safety valve in x that was just a terrible throw that was probably bad positioning by me with the qb and yeah, that's just it's just a really nice play. Man coverage. Rager's gonna catch that. You just lead it to the outside low pass. He'll catch it. Now we got the audible. Uh this post will play. I really like this actually, because you can motion him across the formation and snap it and get him motioned. And then if it's man coverage, Devontae Smith has a great chance. So Devontae Smith is probably not too fast. He's probably like 90. But in this game, they will beat that sometimes. So the post will is really good. And also you get your running back on a wheel route who you can motion out if you need to. And you can block. Er and Ertz is still blocking. So you have an extra blocker. You could lead that. Ooh, bad play. But I should have probably led that up. I let it right. But it works really well, actually. Like, it's a super good play. You could put Rager on a drag, too, to help him. Oh, wait, I didn't call the play. I didn't not call post wheel. Okay, I was like, wait, why is he not running that route? But you could motion him. I, like to, I would like to motion him out, have Ertz block. You could double team whoever you need to double team. Then just snap the ball, looking, looking. Nobody gets open. You got you to gotta move, you know, because nobody gets open. Throw a dot to Miles Sanders. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just easy, you know what I'm saying? But that, no, that, play, that formation is really good to run. I like it, actually. I haven't run it too much. I'm still getting used to it a little bit. This is probably the formation I've run kind of the most. Uh, inside cross is a great quick hike play. Smash is a, basically the same one, is, except you have, three, you have a receiver running the route instead of a tight end in the single back formation we look at. And then I'll show you. We're going to respot ball. Oh, I got to. I'll show you this. This is a cover. This is a beater. We got to make sure we call cover three because everybody runs cover three for some reason. Uh, let's, oh, oh my God, bro. I just hit choose new play instead of respot ball. But yeah, PA halfback slat. Is that what that was called? Hey, I think that's what that was called. Uh, we called match on this f play. Uh, respot ball. Go back. You don't really have to be on a hash for this, but it does work a little bit better. I don't know how fast their eagles receiver is running this play as oh, Jalen is greg ward so he might but sometimes you see Devonte smith and greg ward will run into each other on this play but i like to block my or i like to put my tight end on a delay fade block him slide right and we'll double team the edge go out go out and then you see why will be open he ran into him though oh my god he ran into him so i'd recommend if you run this play so put him on a streak and then put Devonte smith have him cut his route sooner and then you could just put every you do the same thing because i notice sometimes they do run into each other it's a little weird and then you want to roll out right because everything is going right like and then you just okay that was the duck what the heck Okay, so he's throwing ducks, but it does get open here. 
We got to get one. What the heck? You could block both. You could, if you don't want to put him on a delay fade, the bro, a delay fade, he will. We'll, we'll do a slant instead and see if that works. And then you roll out. Boom. There we go. Oh, yep. So it works. It works. Greg Ward's not the fastest guy. Her, uh, Hertz don't have the biggest arm. So it does work well. It does work well. You put him on a slant. Sometimes you don't really have to. And then you could call the play. I like to do delay fade. I, oh, my God, bro. I can't say that for some reason. Double team, outside guy, slide right, snap the ball, rotate outside immediately. Y usually gets open, and then sometimes if it don't get open, you can throw it to the guy, he's wide open, but Hurts just is under pressure, man. Um, And then choose new play. Now, this play is really interesting because it's called the halfback stretch. It's a great run play. I didn't, sh I haven't showed too many run plays. Um, We'll just go random 3-3-5 three, three, wide. Because, yeah, and then you just, you flip it. Rager, Ward, and Smith, they are not the best blockers, I bet. Yeah, like, Ward didn't pick block nothing. But, so, what I like to do, this is where it works if you have, okay, wait. We got to choose new play because we got to fix the stuff. Um, This is if you have a fast, so you tight end, right? You want to take Goddard out and you want to put somebody there who's not crazy good. So there's, I don't think the Eagles really have an elite run blocker. So this is where the receiver works. You see where Devontae Smith is at, number six. Uh, the far left receiver. Uh, that's where your, like, Roy Williams will be for me, the big guy who could block. Then you want to put Zach Ertz. Oh, actually, Travis Fulgham works really well because I think he's a big body receiver, right? And then you want to put a guy like Goddard. So you want your guy. So if Kyle Pitts is out there, he's faster, and George Kittle's pretty fat. Like not, he's not crazy fast, but this is really only for. I I I hate doing it. This is really only for a running play. Okay, so now it's you. So you see how uh by Goddard there is that linebacker right next to the cornerback. You want to pull up pass protection. So press LB and then ID the mic, and make sure you select him. So. He'll go that, and then you flip your run, and then it will look something like this. That tackle will pick him up. Zach Ertz in a block, but you just follow your blocks, and you'll be able to get yards. And sometimes they hold those blocks extremely well. And, okay, maybe, you do, like, see there, the blocks are so good right there, except that safety just got us. And if you could make that guy miss, you can see that's going to be a big gain or touchdown. So that's a good play. But it, it's kind of weird with, wait, whoa, that vertical looks oh that it was just glitched so uh out of here with these guys you could auto always audible down i really only would recommend slants because none of these guys are burners with like a team like this and then you could just run slants and then that was a terrible throw <laughs> that was a terrible throw i don't know what that was but yeah or you could sometimes catch your opponent off guard and run it to the outside so if you ran it up to the left a couple times to flip don't flip or pretend flip it, and then it will work just as well sometimes. But look at those blocks, and then sometimes your left tackle gets off. We should have been gone. But yeah, that's a good run play out of there. I click choose new play. Okay, yeah, so a lot of the other ones are super simple, like the halfback dive, read option, you know. Halfback zone is a really good one, and then out of this bunch tight end, there is actually a couple good plays. So this cross drag, so everybody runs this 3-3-5 wide, right? Um... It really makes, if they're running it some the way some people, a lot of, I've seen it, is it really depends on the user quite a bit. So, see, the user is the, the so if we ID the mic, the one with the M. That is a lot of who most people will use her. So, with this play, you could quick hike. Uh, Goddard and Fulgham on a drag. If he runs to those, it's going to, Y or X, Y is going to be open. I like to put X on a streak sometimes just to clear out the safeties if Y is open so he gets more room. But if he follows Y, so he's going to drop back. Ertz will be wide open against the corner you or Goddard, I mean. And sometimes he'll break those tackles and then you could come back to it. You come back to the play. Boom. Uh, he goes down. He bites down. Man coverage. You loft it over the middle. Rager, touchdown. Should have been. I should, maybe if I bullet passed it. I lobbed it. I should have touched past it. But it's super easy to, it's super easy to call because like 
it's just it's just a quick read. You read the user. Sometimes there's if they have guys playing there, you throw it fast because if they're on a hard flat or whatever, they really won't play it. So that's really it kind of out of this formation. Well, not really. You got your verticals, which is super good. Oh, my God. Which is super good still. Uh, You got Devontae Smith. That route with Devontae Smith runs. You could just quick hike this if you need. And Devontae Smith will get open. Oh, wow, 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 wow. No arm strength. I let it, <laughs> but like he'll get open sometimes if it's a zone. You just you just got to get the time and you can fit it in there. Maybe if you have set fee lead, it will definitely. So Daniel Jones is probably the best QB. It will get there a little faster. And whenever we get a gunslinger quarterback, it will definitely be. And then some of the audibles aren't really good, but halfback zone is super decent. Like, like you could bounce it outside if it collapses. Because it's not like, I don't know, there's nobody out there. Like, if you see, if you look at this, well, now they're bringing a blitz on that side. But, like, there's nobody over there. So, like, you notice sometimes whenever you run the ball and you go to bounce it outside, there there's a cornerback there right there to tackle you. With this formation, not really. It's a bunch to the outside let or trips, and it's super easy. Now, there's Wildcat in this formation, if you care. Uh, yeah, I don't. Split Flex is another formation I really do like. I usually have my ball carrier on conservative because there is a lot of QB runs, like I said, with the other with the pistol formations. Uh, I like to run read option. Some of the plays I like is PF PAFL slide is pretty decent. Uh, hat, power O is pretty nice. Read option is good. PA fork is pretty decent. PA halfback wheel X dig wheel is pretty. They're all good. Uh, like shallow cross is really good as well with fulgum, and then Y angle is pretty nice, but. I'm going to show you a red zone play. So we're going to re... Okay, we got to choose the play first. Is goes cross. I know it, it says goes. It's it's not a red zone play. But if we respot ball, go up here, go up here, go, 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 go. So boom, we're just, we'll just throw it right here. Not like a crit, like, but in within like the 15 yard line. So I know Fulgham is running like that weird post thing, which gets, I really don't think it gets open too much. But if you put both these guys in a post and you can block Sanders or go Goder if you want, I can't say his name, bro. But if you snap the ball, boom, you got two quick options. Like uh, he's going to get in there. Like it's a great formation because, well, what it makes, you got the slants who most of the time the user, if he go, drops down, Oh, wow. Okay, we just got picked by a lineman because he was on a spy. But so, but if the user overreacts to, like, the underneath routes, you're going to have your guys in the middle. And then, oh, I got sacked because, yeah. But <laughs> it's Aaron Donald, man. I should have went against a different team because Aaron Donald is just wrecking me. Oh, I didn't set up my audibles. Oh, well. But if they're man coverage, it's going to get open. It's just a good play to choose in the red zone. And then you got read option, which is super simple. Um, I don't think it will work in the red zone. <laughs> it never really does for me, but we'll back it up a little bit. There. So read option is super good. This is why I like. I know there's a bunch of read options in this playbook, which I like to run. It gets open quite a bit, and you get like a decent amount, amount of yards with your running back if they don't cover you. Well, if like if he blitzes boom you're gone like it's it's super fun to run it's a great formation because like they don't know what you're doing and let's see if there's any good audible plays like power o is very simple here we'll show you that boom picks him up okay what's his name can't block but he just like it's good to have your guy you kind of want your guy like Fulgham. Oh, Fulgham missed the block. That's probably the best blocking receiver. You got you want that guy in the middle. Uh, what other play? P fork is a pretty decent play. It's pretty simple, I think. Like you just, I would call it as is almost. Oh, dot. Let's go, because that that outside route gets open quite a bit, and so does that. Uh, the post gets open sometimes, and then I want to show you a different one. Let's see which one. Is there's a couple. There's a lot in this. This formation is really good. It's, I'm not saying that this is probably. I run the trips, tight end, the or trips. Um, yeah, just trips out of what's it called. So you can motion your tight end out on this play, and he's got that super 
super nice will route and that will get open sometimes if it's man but if not you could just low ball throw Devonte. okay maybe don't low ball that <laughs> but yeah like i like to motion him out block sanders and then just call a play you can roll out and then just i'm just gonna throw it up if he, if that's kyle pitts he's probably faster than the linebacker burns him so if it's a if it's a good tight end, Goddard is probably not the best. He's good, but like you know, he's probably not the fastest guy. And then there's Y angle, and then there's a couple angle routes from your running back in this formation too. That is super nice. Um. Oh, and also I believe here I'll show you something. I said I, I said you need two running backs. I I believe you could sub like, but here let me show you. This is a good quick hike play too, because boom, Goddard just open quite a bit. But I believe you could sub in a secondary running back instead of Goddard, right? Or is it only tight ends? It's only tight ends. Oh, oh, you don't need two running backs. I swear, what for? There is a formation in here. I thought I needed that, but that's really it for split flex. Split flex. Oh my god. Um, and then let's go to doubles. Doubles is a good formation as well. You got your read options. You got your double outs with your. Running back angle route. I know everybody loves those. They're super hard to guard. Angle smash again. Uh, PA zone read is pretty fun to run as well. And then you got your jet, you got your jet touch pass, um, which is pretty decent. I really like these this year. They actually block pretty well. It's just like a run with the lead blocker. Like, okay, well, he, Sanders isn't the best lead blocker, but you see, we got decent yards there. And can we? There's read option. Is there any of these I want to show you guys? PA reads a pretty decent play. Really simple. Uh, you just, I would, you could leave it base. Super easy. I know they're they're running a lot of man coverage, <laughs> which I don't really, I don't know how. Was that Jalen Ramsey against Devontae Smith? I don't know how he wasn't locking him up. And then after you run that jet touch pass a while, you got this this one with Jalen Hurts is pretty decent with this fake. Is fake where you keep it with hurts um then you okay you get stuck on greg ward i don't know why he didn't run that was weird let's try it. oh they're blitzing oh god yeah um it's pretty decent but like wow okay they're just blitzing our souls out over there okay and we ran into greg ward so I, it's you got to kind of be patient and then you can bounce it out miles sanders i'm just saying can't pick up his block at all but if he even blocks there, it's 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 gone. You know, it's a good play to run. It's just like halfback wrap out of the Ravens playbook. It's pretty decent. I want to say this one is good. QB wrap is way better. But it's a, it gives you that threat, you know. And then you got the fake zone where you fake the run, I guess, with it again. And then PA zone read is re really actually kind of fun to run. Because I usually like Fulgham. He's the furthest out. You put him on a streak. Takes out that guy. Boom. And you just got a bunch of crossing routes. It's not a crazy play. It's not. It's not bad, but like, so it could get boxed pretty easy. Like, like if the if the that guy has like six six acrobats and the best corners in the game, it probably gets boxed. But and yeah, they, there's a bunch of super like these angle smash routes are super decent with their. Sorry, this is a long video, but they get they get open quite a bit. Yep, right there, Miles Sanders. They get open. This so this offense, the running gun offense, is just it's really different, man. It's just not many people run it. Not it's kind of like the Ravens. If you've seen Mike Max video on it, how he says the Baltimore tour, this is the running gun tour. Like it, it's just the whole thing. Now we got everybody's trips tight end. It's a good formation. F what is this one? This one's called halfback angle. It's a really decent play to run, actually. I would like to motion Devontae Smith over. Is it going to switch him to the in route? I don't think it does. I believe it keeps him on this out route. Or you could put him on a streak or back on the in route. But it's so that way it don't clog up the middle for a guy like Miles Sanders overthrown. Um, he, I've had so many over. Bro, Justin Hur Jalen Hurts. I, mean, I don't know why I said Justin Herbert. But he is messing up my, my plays, man. It looks like they're bad. Okay, come on, hurry. Dang, what takes so long? Wait, what did I do? What did I do? Did I respot the ball? I think I respotted the ball. <laughs> but anyway, 
but like yeah there's a couple good formations out of here um i want to say it's the best trip side and halfback swing is pretty decent halfback angle is really good um pa slot corner is actually pretty decent i like to do oh my goodness i like to run this motion him motion on oh no, the block the running back i always usually do if they're bringing blitzes motion Devonte smith snap the ball he's not my first read i like the the out route on this especially if it's man because that other like kind of post i guess or far slant really forces them out and then you always got the safety valve and goddard's route is pretty decent too um but usually if it's zone it's gonna get it's gonna get picked up but ooh, maybe set feet lee gets that there and a faster guy with like route tech but uh and then Devonte smith is a super easy like dump off route if you need it yeah, so like you just snap it, snap it, snap it. Uh, Y was actually open there, but yeah, he's a pretty good safe route. So if you always you always want a backup plan, always a guy to dump it off to. But yeah, and then out of that, there's so there's a bunch of good plays. Like I'm serious, like you could just call whatever and have fun with it. So and now tight flex is a very interesting one. Uh, my favorite play out of this is probably mesh, mesh. It's a super easy, you just block your running back. Uh, Greg Ward gets open. Sometimes he can cook, and then you just, oh, like maybe there, if it's a faster guy, Greg Ward's probably not the fastest guy in the world. Like here, this is probably a decent look against it. Like it's man coverage. You just lob it and throw an outside route. Like Greg Ward uh, matched up, but he's not fast at all. Or that 59 is actually pretty fast because Miles Sanders, he kept up with Miles Sanders or somebody earlier. But like you got that route if if it's a decent little beater and then A was probably open there. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do you stop? Why do you go? But A was probably open there on the out route. It's a great route by the tight end. Uh the another corner route. You just lead it. And then boom. Sometimes it will get picked if it's acrobat. And then set feet lead really helps and gunslinger will help eventually. But yeah, it's just a real I didn't block. You don't have to block. And then yeah, of course you got your underneath routes if you need them. But tight flex, I really actually like this play. That's probably my go-to play. Halfback option and wide receiver cross is really good. Wide receiver cross, you can keep your running back. I like to do this. If you're running receiver cross, I would do it with a couple other plays. Just give away, not give away you're doing this one. But motion Sanders down and then put Devontae Smith on a streak. And that way, you can come out here. And if it's man coverage... Just lob it up to Sanders, and usually he will, and it's a linebacker on him, he will usually cook him. I don't think Sanders is crazy fast, but, like, if you got a guy like Reggie Bush with his running back apprentice, it will actually work really well if it's man coverage. Uh, so if your opponent has tendencies to run man coverage, and, like, B is wide open here, uh, you, could, you could get that across the middle a couple times. And then... I find it less so in this for, in this play, but like you know how Mash, how uh, Greg Ward was getting open in the slot over across the middle, it don't happen as as much I would say. And then yeah, Jalen Rackers is a good route. I don't know why they keep running man coverage unless it's just glitched or something. But yeah, oh I I let me run it one more time and I will show you. Well, that was a cover two. Jalen Rager, easy. It's it's just dots. And they're not like, it, they don't take long. They're not long plays that take long to develop. So you could block him. And then you can motion out Devontae Smith as well, who is on this halfback route. And if it's man to man, he will burn it sometimes. It takes a. It, it, with that, like, if it's man to man, he'll usually bite down on that. And sometimes it's a good play. I like to block the running back if I do that, though. No, I just change it up, you know. And that gets your guy open quite a bit. Oh, bad pass. But it's just, it's a good play to run. I really like it out of there. Um, I think we have a couple more plays out of this. I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video, but I'm just breaking down my offense, how you do it. Um, There's not like a specific order. You just flip it and make it make sense. Like I run the ball quite a bit actually with the read options and stuff. Well, I was whenever I was using this because I needed the rushing yards. This is a pretty decent stock play because if you get Sanders on a on the linebacker again out there, he will cook that guy. Well, sometimes he stops and he is a de decent, like Devontae Smith, boom. That's a good good chunk of yards to gain right away with Devontae Smith on his little uh, curl route. And then randomly sometimes like Goddard and then we'll get open. Like Greg Ward's 
maybe open. If that's a fast guy, yeah. See, if Greg Ward's faster, he's probably not the fastest guy. But if you got like a, if you got like Devin Hester, Jamar Chase, or like the new Tyreek Hill that's going to be coming out in a little bit, uh, you will. Pro- oh, I don't know why I threw him. I just I thought he was running the out route. But B is a decent out route. Probably not with Jalen Ramsey there because it's Jalen Ramsey one step ahead in Acrobat. But it's a pretty decent route if you don't have Jalen Ramsey on you with one step ahead in Acrobat. And he's probably in man coverage. Uh, and then, yeah, you got this running back. Oh, wow. He jumped that. But sometimes it sits down and it's wide open. It's really a decent dump off, dump off formation. Oh. And see, there was man, and sometimes your tight end or your receiver will burn their guys on man coverage if it's a blitz. Like, oh my god! But I'm pretty sure we could check it up to got it there. And sometimes it's not a bad play. Like, you guys are like, oh, that's a bad, well, that's that's a good play because it is a linebacker. That linebacker is actually kind of fast. What the hell? Or Greg Ward is just slow. But, like, sometimes it's not a bad play to chuck it on double coverages. But, like, your line, your tight end against a smaller safety will sometimes moss them because I'm trying to get it like that. Where, and, like, I don't know why they glitch out like that and Devontae Smith is not covered. But it's a super easy, super easy read. Let's, uh, and then, boom, sometimes he'll get open down the middle. He's not fast, and we don't have the best throw power, so we can't lead that deeper. But if it's somebody who's faster, you will get a different animation. I'm trying to, like, there, boom. Sometimes it, it randomly just it just works, you know? It just works sometimes. I don't know why, but sometimes your guys will get open deep. It just depends on the coverage. Um, What other plays? We have wide receiver corners is super easy, is a good one. It's just corner routes. Uh, it's a good quick hike play, too, because Jalen Rekker's route usually gets open quite a bit. Uh, I don't know why his route got bumped off so much. I don't. I've never really seen that where they run into each other. I don't get that in the route running in this game. Like they randomly just do run into each other. Or like is the play is designed that poorly? But like their out routes are super super nice, especially with set feet lead. I'm that. That's why it's like Daniel Jones is the best QB with this with his set feet lead. Oh, wrong button. No. Yeah. But Daniel Jones is probably the best guy because he could run the read options. He could he has set feed lead. Even a two Q quarterback system in this is probably not too bad. And then you got spread, which is okay. I don't run. I don't find myself running it too much. I need to look at it more because there is a couple like Flinker Dig looks like a pretty decent play. With like the, wait, I think I called the wrong play. But like this isn't a bad play either with your with your post and stuff because like a lot of time people like the post slant combo is really deadly i really like the post usually coming out of slot though uh full is probably not the best guy to run that but like this usually gets open quite a bit you you gotta count for users as well what is the two errors okay well it said there were skip frames detected sorry if that happened uh and then pa comebacks and deep attack oh actually no i do run this formation quite a bit but this this running back route is pretty nice. Uh and then you got like you see my 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 tight end was open right there. Um but that running back route gets open pretty decently like just like you know you just throw it to him and oh he breaks the tackle. Oh, don't get nothing. Don't really it, it's all for nothing. So um that that one's pretty decent. Oh yeah, this flanker dig. This I don't find myself running this formation as much like I said but it is pretty decent. Like you can motion Devonte, and then he it goes like this. It's a weird thing where it switches, and then boom. And then Greg Ward is usually open. He's he's just not fast, bro. He just don't have the separation. But he, as you see, he did get a step ahead. Motion again. It just makes it a little difficult. Uh. And maybe I oh I led that I led that. That's a dot. Okay. Greg Ward don't, is not the fastest guy, okay? <laughs> Greg Ward is just not fast enough. I should have chose somebody else, bro. I should I should have chose a team with speed, just pure speed. And sometimes it just gets open like that, and that's a... Oh, oh, but he's fast enough to make a miss. But that's a good play to run as well. I really like that one because it but that run, that running back well, that route gets open. And the PA comebacks is a, pre, is a good, decent play because... 
I like to put Devontae Smith on a route like this, and then I kind of like to leave that. Why is Greg Ward always the guy who, who's run that? And then you just motion, you just run outside. And if it's a super, f oh my God, duck. Oh my God, he didn't catch it. But I like to, like, Devontae Smith, even if you were to put him on, like, an out and then, like, cut it like that and then like this. And we're going to try to run out of the pocket again. Oh, my God. We just can't. We just can't. We just can't. I chose the Eagles because I thought their own line was good. And, like, it, I thought they made sense because they had two decent tight ends. But, like, uh, what did I have to do? Him and then... I should have not chose the Rams, though. The Rams are, like, one of the best defenses in this game. And then, like, boom. If you have a guy with a cannon, he usually can throw that over him. I've done it a couple times. In cover two, this gets open super easily. Like, as you can see here, boom. Like, it's open right away. Like, you you could get it off earlier. Sometimes it gets open deep. Not, really, not crazy amounts, though. But, and then, yeah. After that, I don't really run too much of this stuff. I guess you can run the goal line stuff. And after that, that's basically the playbook. That's what I run. That's how I flip it and plays I like to use and subs I like to make and the personnel I like to use. But anyway, thank you for watching. I know it's going to be a long video. Thank you for watching it. If you made it to this part, really thank you. Hey, have a good day.